start with George, yeah. back in the team, yeah. uh, how, do, how did that feel? Yeah, it felt good after a couple of weeks off uh, injured. It's always bad being injured, uh, but it's good to be back, good to be back. I just need to be up there, but uh, nah. And you notched the goal as well, how did that feel? A bit lucky, it felt to me, just, just tap it in. <laughs> tap, tap in, but I'll take it. Well, you said it's a tap in, but the ball got to be put in, haven't it? Aye, ah, true, true. Yeah. But, uh, so what do you think about the team performance overall? Yeah, it was good. Control, control the game from start to finish. Uh, but uh, it's, uh, it's unfortunate we conceded a bit later on. But, uh, Wait for this guy on the right. Uh, on the left. On your, your right. Left. Oh, oh, on my right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he went down the pitch. Yeah. But he was playing well, on my left yeah, on the pitch. He was on the left, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Quality. Moved in the midfield. Yeah, yeah. He, but he only made five of the eight goals. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Played outstanding today. Cheers, uh, George. Whipping them in. Quality, yeah. So, Elliot, moved in the midfield on the left wing there. And, uh, you think you found your position at long last? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I was a bit surprised when Gambo said at the start, he's like, oh, Elliot Dane, number 11. I was like, is he talking to me? I didn't realise, but no, I was happy. Um, one goal, two or three assists, yeah. A good day at the office. Yeah. I mean, the first two goals were almost identical. You know, headers from corners. Yeah. You, you, you did really well, did you? Yeah, we've we'll been, we'll been a threat set pieces um, all season. You know, I've had, I've had a few headers this season. Cruz has been waiting for a few and he's eventually got one, but yeah, we're we'll always looking for threat from set pieces. And the lads all finished the goals really well. Yeah. Really well. I was going to say the first one. And what do you put about the Cameron? Who he's telling me that was a dummy, but he missed it completely. Nah, he's, he's missed <laughs> that completely. He said to us before, he's like, "Oh, hell, I need to score." So I was like, "All right, okay." So I put on a play for him. He's completely missed the ball. So and that's not a dummy. Don't believe what Bruce says. <laughs> I think one of the great things we can say as well to eight one. Cameron hasn't actually scored. He's our top scorer. Yeah, I know exactly. We, we need people to perform. We need people to score, not just Brew. When Mickey was saying Mickey was scoring, we need other people to chip in, and that's exactly what happened today. And again, word for your man on your left, <laughs> <laughs> George. Come back into the team. Slot the straight back in. Yeah, straight in. Great performance, nice and composed. Um, he just needs to get the games under his belt, and then fitness will come, game sharpness will come, and then he, yeah, his performances will get better as well. And for both of you, right? That's a team that drew 1 1 with here to Liam Rangers on, on Wednesday. It's hard to believe that, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Anything can happen, Aye. especially in football. football uh, yeah. So, yeah, it'll, it'll be, it'll be, we're looking forward to the next uh, game next Wednesday. It'll be a tough game, but we've just got to play how we play today. Keep the ball nice and, nice and down on the floor and nice and controlled. And hopefully, Control the game, yeah, right. Hopefully, we'll get three points. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, 8 1 away at the Norton and Stock Nature. You must be very proud of the lads. Yeah, yeah, I thought today they did everything that they're capable of doing. Um, from the first minute they pressed, they worked hard, they hunted in packs and got the rewards. I mean, it's been a been a long week. Uh, these boys have travelled to a semi-final in London, some of them. Um, and it's a great reaction from, from a disappointing result midweek for, for the boys outside of the Wayside League um, in their academy games. But yeah, delighted with the performance. And to think as well, when we came here, we would have looked at it and thought this is going to be a tough game after they got a 1-1 draw on Wednesday against Gator Liam Rangers. But we made it look very easy at times. Yeah, I think it's, it's easy to to disrespect teams and, and, and look at different things. I just thought today it wasn't about the opposition, it was about how well we played. And I think from from the off, they, they worked as a team, they showed that desire, that hunger to win the game. And obviously they got a, got a good result against Liam Rangers. And, you know, I think, you know, football wins out the day and that's what, what we try and breed into these young people, playing football, doing things the right way, um, having that desire, having that little bit of spite when they need to. But ultimately we're here to play football and not fight teams. And I think that's what, was the pleasing thing for us today? We, we did really, really well, and uh, you know, hopefully, we can, we can continue this throughout the rest of the season. Yeah, and just going, I mean, you, you, you could pick out virtually anybody in the team. I mean, the back three played well, young Dylan again, another good performance. But I thought the midfield three were excellent the way they pressed and, and hurried and, and then got the ball forward. And Elliot Day on the left wing for a yeah, journey, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. made, scored one and made five. I, I think, I mean, you know, we've had lads coming back, so Louis come back and looked at looked a real threat there with Taylor. Taylor has been in the form of his life really in the last five or six games. I think he's been absolutely magnificent and just seems to play the game in slow motion at times. So so Taylor was outstanding. Uh, Louis has, has, has got minutes in his games, uh, minutes in his legs, which we need for, for the games coming up. And you're right, I think Elliot Day, he, he's playing as a as a centre half, as a left back, as a left winger at times and, and he can bomb home and, and, and he's got that left and right foot. It doesn't really matter which one he uses. He's got the quality there to deliver so yeah it's um it's a position that we're trying to trying to fill since michael moved on and moved up um 
And I think, uh, yeah, we've got plenty of options in that in that department. But I think, yeah, you're right. The midfield today were, were outstanding, and even the changes that we made when the lads came on, they showed that desire to keep the intensity and keep the momentum. And and it's hard, it's hard to break into this team with so many good players. But we're going to need every single one of these players in the run-up because the, the games are coming every two days, and we're going to have to stay together as a squad and and keep performing. But if we can do that. Then we're going to be we're going to be a tough side to beat, I think. Yeah, just um, just to move on a couple of days, you've got your ground inspection in a couple of days' time. Ready for that? Yeah, yeah, a lot of work's gone in behind the scenes. Um, obviously, a lot of people had, had questioned and doubted whether or not we may or may not be able to achieve what we set out to achieve. But we've got some fantastic plans. We've we funded the uh, the fencing and put the fencing in round round the track, um, and then we're looking to put in the uh, the floodlighting which is going in. So we've got some some magnif magnificent floodlights coming in, and uh, you know working really well with the council on a lot of projects. So yeah, we're we're, we're ready for that on Monday. And uh, my job's to try and do bits and pieces off the field, which we've put in place to give us the platform. It's down to these players now to to, to see us over the line and see if we can win this league. And that's a good point just to finish on. It's not, you know, the, the lads on the pitch are performing fantastically well, but we've got to get things right off the pitch as well. Yeah, I think so. And yourself, Michael, we've got a brilliant team building behind the scenes. And it was something John and I looked at that it was very much a two man band beginning of last season. And we're getting a great committee of people behind us who we literally can't function without these people. So, you know, I'm, I'm delighted with the way things are going and, uh, you know, long may it continue. And I think. If we keep doing what we're doing, then we look forward to bigger crowds and bigger gates and um, and trying to reinvest anything that we generate back into these young boys and help them push them on for their careers because that's the enjoyment factor. That's what we're here to do and that's that's the, the thing that gets you up on a Saturday to come and watch these games. So yeah, delighted, delighted with the way things are going. Um, let's see if we can see it through till the end of the season. Thanks very much. Thanks, Jeff.